how we doing? Welcome to fall. I think we're a couple days into fall now, but here we are. Anyway, let's talk about September. Obviously, September is the start of our fall market, but because of where Labor Day shows up, we kind of miss the first week or so of our fall market uh, because people are distracted by Labor Day. So we've had about three weeks into our fall market and we're seeing pretty similarly what we saw last year with a big influx of inventory in September. In fact, this year over last year in Marin County, we have 15% more inventory than we did last year. Now, what tends to happen in our September market, at least what happened last year, was we have all this influx of inventory, the quick like prom queens get picked off real quick, and then once the buyers have kind of absorbed those properties, we start to see buyers picking off at the other properties. And it's one of the reasons we start to see at this time of year, a little bit longer days on market. So again, our inventory is up in Marin about 15% from last year. And right now, at least in the past month, what we've seen is a drop of about 1.5% in price and an increase of days on market of 21%. So again, our fall market's just starting in Marin. We're gonna keep track of where it's going and thoughts on how it's going there. Next, let's chat about San Francisco. So in San Francisco, we're seeing a little bit different than what we're seeing in Marin County. So this year, over the past year, what we've seen is about a 4% appreciation in real estate values. Now, if we look back to what it was in 2015, which we really think was like the peak of our market, we were appreciating at 10 to 15% up until 2015. This year, we're down to a 4% appreciation across the San Francisco market. Um, our days on market have gone down, believe it or not, as well as price has gone up about the 4%. Now, again, this is taking into effect, all these stats come from across the entire San Francisco channel not necessarily just the luxury market, which is mostly what we're talking about. So over the last month, what we've seen is that single family home prices and days on market have stayed exactly the same. Not surprising. What is kind of surprising is that over the last month, what we've seen across the condo market across San Francisco is prices have gone up about 6%, but the days on market have also gone up 29%. Again, doesn't make a lot of sense to me, and we're looking at stats across San Francisco. So not necessarily the markets we're always talking about. Okay, so interest rates. We talked about this last month, but in September, interest rates lowered again, and there's talk of interest rates dropping even slightly more. So if you're a buyer, this is a great time to start making sure you have your financing lined up because inventory that will be left on the market from this fall flush of inventory if it's sitting around in November and December, oftentimes sellers are willing to make a deal. So if you're a buyer, this is the time, get your ducks in a row, it's gonna be a great time to buy. So in closing, we're still super early into our fall market. I still am very positive on what the fall market's gonna offer for buyers and for sellers. Um, San Francisco seems to be dodging a little bit of a bullet while the rest of the Bay Area is getting getting shook a little bit by talks of political uncertainty, um, you know, all the little chatter that's going on on the outside. But I think what we have to look at is our stock market's still staying relatively strong. Our interest rates are incredibly low. These are things that are going to keep our market moving in the right direction. We'll keep an eye on all of the stats for you. Again, we're only three weeks into our fall market, missing that first week with Labor Day. So we'll be in touch, keep you updated on the stats and what's going on in both Marin and San Francisco.